hello everyone my name is shazeb and today we are going to learn about langchain right so basically langchain is a blockchain based methodology that is used nowadays a lot for application development with respect to nlp applications right so how does this work so if you are familiar with openai you might know something called prompts right so uh, you give a prompt and it gives you a response right so uh, all the gpt based architectures work on that way right so what is perfect for langchain is it gives you a prompt based mechanism right so you have multiple type of prompts that are already available and are easy to use right so as you can see this is all the applications and uh, you know the explanation of prompts other than this you can click on models and on models you will also be able to see that uh, there are all the language models that are available on openai other than that ai lab other than that hugging face all of those models are available inside langchain right and we can develop a whole bunch of applications with the help of this methodology right so it works on the basis of chains and agents right so i'll be explaining more about what are chains and what are agents with uh, more respective videos right uh, but first of all today let's discuss what we are going to do right so we would like to develop a document question answer mechanism right so if we are talking about document question answering basically there are two things uh, that are uh, you know very important for example um, both of those things are is uh, you know uh, document plural or singular what does this mean it means that if you have one document or multiple documents right so for example if you have one document what we can do is we can just take that document and uh, use it inside a text loader and enter it inside LangChain, right so when the document is entered into langchain i just made it a little bit bigger for you to see right so when the document is entered into langchain what we can do is for example we have a question that what is happening in russia right so let's suppose we want to ask this question okay and we know that the answer is available in this one document right so what can we do now what we can do is we can you know uh, try to use vector search algorithm to search for the places in the document that has this part right so in that uh, we can use multiple type of embedding algorithms right the one i am going to use is open ai embedding system in which uh, you know uh, we will just create the embeddings for the whole document right so embedding for the one document right and that's what we'll get uh, in the first step right so after making the embeddings uh, uh, if you are not familiar with the embeddings so embeddings are just the uh, formations of uh, zeros and ones for example like this uh, for the textual format right so you will have these embeddings for uh, you know something like russia right and when uh, you uh, you know you will enter this embedding or this question as a query then it will see all the embeddings of the document and it will get out all the areas or the parts where there is a embedding search matching right that part is called similarity search or you can also say that it is called vector search right so we are going to do the vector search on that one document right with the help of open ai we can use a lot of other algorithms as well but for this video i am going to use open ai okay so what we, we will have after this is we will have areas of the documents right which have something related to russia in them right it can be four areas or five areas so how this works is it actually picks up top k areas right if we have top k equal to five then it will pick up five areas uh, which has uh, you know uh, something like that uh, written into it right so after getting those five areas what we will do is we will again 
use uh, OpenAI to ask this question with the help of chains, right? To ask this question with the help of chains and this question will then be asked to only the matched part, right? So, for example, uh, the output that uh, comes from this, we say that it is output, right? And here we will say that only ask this question to the output, which will be the areas that have the answer related to that, right? And then we will have a final answer, right? So, what are the most important things that we are going to need in this? The first thing we are going to need is, of course, length chain. After that, we are going to use a vector database. In our case, we are going to use ChromaDB. I will also be making some videos on Pinecone later. But uh, for now, we are going to use uh, a vector database, which is called ChromaDB, right? And other than that, uh, for embedding search, I am also going to use OpenAI, right? So this is basically a two-step process, right? It also mitigates the, uh, you know, uh, length of the document uh, problem, right? So, if you are familiar with something like GPT-3, you will know that it has 4,000 tokens available to it, right? However, when we are doing something like, uh, you know, vector search, then it will not be a problem because the areas will be a lot smaller than this, right? So, I hope that it is all clear what we are going to do here. We are going to take one document and put it in the database and later we are going to do the semantic search and find the top five areas which could have this answer, right? And only ask, uh, you know, this question to those areas and then we will have an answer, right? So, let's get it started. The first thing that you need to do is you need to open up your Google Colab notebook, right? So, I already have this opened up and there are a few things that you need to install before going on, right? So, the first thing is you need to install Langchain. So, for that you will write pip install Langchain, right? So, it is very simple to install. After that, you are also going to need OpenAI, right? So, go ahead and install this as well and if you are familiar with you know collab you know that uh, when the runtime is executed after that you will not have access to uh, those libraries anymore so you, you need to install them again okay so the next library that we are going to use is chroma db of course this is the database that we are going to use right so because we are going to upload the document that's why uh, we are using chroma db right if we had multiple documents and we wanted to do a semantic search in all of those documents in that case, I would have used something like Pinecone, right? So, I'll make a video about that as well. Okay. So, Tick Token is another library that is going to be needed when you are working with OpenAI embeddings, right? So, let's install this as well. Okay. So, after doing that, uh, let's install a, you know, let's uh, run a few codes uh, which is related to libraries that we are going to use right so the first thing is we are going to use let me put some spaces here so the first thing is we are going to use open AI embeddings right as i have told you before i am going to use the open AI embedding for this purpose right you can use a lot of embeddings that uh, can be uh, you know developed with the help of hugging face right you can uh, use you know bird based architectures or bot based architectures or anything you want right right here but i am going to use open ai embeddings after that i am going to use a splitter which is uh, you know going to split the characters that are present inside the document it is a very nice way to you know split your document so that uh, your algorithm does not have to read the whole document in one go right uh, and then you will not have this error that your tokens are more than 4000 right so you need to go ahead do, and do that as well and after that i am going to bring in chroma from vector stores right so from langchain dot vector stores i am going to bring in chroma and after that i am going to bring in document in through which i am going to pass my document and later i am going to bring in prompt template and vector store index as well right so let's run this after that so the last thing that we are going to need is os why because we are going to 
you know enter the open api key with the help of os right so os dot environment will be the method okay so now let me talk about open api key if you do not have it you need to go to your playground and then you can just uh, click on view api keys and then you can copy this key right so of course i have already done that and my api key is right here so this is my api key i'll just delete it for this video or blur this i'll see what happens okay so anyways you will write os dot environment and open a key is equal to your personal key from there right so after that what we need to do is we need to create an index and for that we are going to write index creator is equal to vector score index creator that's it right so what happens after this is you need to you know load the document right so the document that i'm going to use is state of the union i have already you know put it inside my collab right and what i'm going to do is i'm going to run this and then i'm going to run this and here i'm going to import text loader and with the help of that i'm going to uh, you know uh, load this document state of the union dot text right and save it inside the variable loader and later uh, you know uh, use that variable and uh, put it in the doc search variable right so here i am just creating the index from that document right so let's run this as well okay so we are using chroma db right and in this the data always remains transient again if we are doing something like multiple document we could use a different type of database and you have a lot of databases available in here right inside langchain so langchain gives you a very good methodology to use all of these things anyways so what is the next step if you remember the next step is to write this question and ask openai to perform a similarity search on this document and bring in a few areas right so right now my areas are selected on default and in the next videos i'm going to change them as well okay so let's see where were we okay so we ran this one 35 36 37 38 yeah anyways so here i am writing the question what happened with russia right and later i am going to ask it to make the similarity search on behalf of that document right and the results are going to be saved in the variable documents right so this is a very simple methodology in which you are going to use doc search vector store methodology and uh, we are going to perform similarity search again if you look in the documentation it will be something like this uh, doc search dot similarity underscore search however it has changed now and to use the vector store you also need to write vector store so inside the doc search library i am going to use the vector store and inside that i am going to use the similarity search okay so after running that i am going to bring in the open ai large language model to you know uh, answer the question from these areas right so i have these areas with me now let's write docs and there we go so we have these areas available right so these are the areas which were related to uh, russia right what happened in russia okay embedding wise right so this was the first one and this is the second one third one and fourth one so as you can see it is picking four top k is equal to four in this case right we can also have it set to something like five anyways so what is the next step now we do not have the complete document so the complete document uh, let me open the complete document here as well so this was the complete document and as you can see uh, this is a very large document right and it is the best way to talk to your uh, you know textual data that i am showing you you can do this for any book you want as well okay so anyways 
what we are doing here is we are just picking up four best places or five best places uh, in which are related to russia right so in this case by default we are picking up four places right now what are we going to do next we are going to load a chain methodology from question answering system inside langchain right so for that we are going to write from langchain uh, dot chains and if you want to learn more about chains you can just click on chains right here and it will tell you how to get started right of course i'll explain more about chains later but for now i'm just you know uh, going to develop this application so you just need to know for now this one that in chains we can uh, you know develop a sequential methodology in which we run something first and then something after that right so for example we will run one chain once and then the second chain and then the third chain and so on and so forth anyways so moving on uh, we are going to import open ai from the llms that are available in lang chain again you can use roberta you can use anything you want right but i am going to use open ai so let's run this now and after that what is the next step the next step is actually to load the chain and one thing that you need to be careful uh, in this is you need to pick up the temperature equal to zero right so if you are familiar with gpt3 based mechanisms right then you might know that a temperature zero gives you more realistic or deterministic results and when you change it to something like 0.7 or even 1 so it takes more risks and there are more chances that it is going to deviate from this document right of course we need it to uh, you know answer from this document only and do not use its sound mind right so that's why we are writing chain is equal to load qa chain and open ai temperature is zero and the chain type we are going to use tough chain so in the later documents or in the later videos i am going to cover more about this more about chains and more about prompts right and other than that i have also developed something with only using agents right so let me show you that a little bit as well uh, agents is something that has access to all of the tools that are available so i'll also you know discuss that in some other video right for, but for now we are only going to use this stuff type chain right and after that we are asking this query right what happened with russia but this time the input documents are only these documents right as you can see the first time uh, these were all the documents that we were going to search right this is a lot more than these right which is only like uh, a few paragraphs right four paragraphs right so there is a chance of getting better results when the context is less right so how did we reduce the context we reduce the context by using this vector search or similarity search mechanism right so after this let's just ask it this question and this will all be the uh, you know documents that we are going to ask the question to and let's run this and it will of course use its own mind right llm uh, open a llm is going to use its own mind to answer this it's not just picking this up right so it is making its own answer right however the answer is uh, you know developed by using all of them right so if we are using all of them the answer is developed by using all of them right so this is something that is being done uh, making the temperature zero does not mean that uh, the llm is going to perform less right so uh, the, it, this only means that it is going to read all of these and answer from that and nothing else right so this is the answer russia's economy is reeling due to closing of america airspace to russian flights and all of these things right due to the uh, you know uh, ukraine uh, mechanism anyways don't let's not get into that and uh let's pick some other question as well right so i'm also call, calling on congress this is some sort of uh, you know uh, let's ask some question like netto lines right so let's see 
uh, what does it say about NATO alliance right so for that first I am going to write here what happened with NATO something like that right so NATO okay so it is going to give me results right let's see what are the results so these are all the results and let's run this and okay so it was not the russia one it uh, was what happened with nato of course it is also answering the russia question here because uh, it is all uh, you know uh, related and in this there is also information about russia right so this is not something to be confused about right however uh, when we are asking it what happened with NATO then it is uh, re also replying us something like NATO mobilized forces uh, to protect its countries and all of these things right so this is how you can develop a uh, vector based Q&A algorithm with the help of Langchain right so uh, what did we use in this we used uh, vector search we used OpenAI and we used Langchain all of these libraries at once right so if you like this video uh, subscribe to my channel as well right and uh, i'll make more videos like this in the future thank you